Last Saturday, Danila Lindell stood in downtown Moscow tweeting about the revolution. Dressed in a sweater his mother knit him, the 23-year-old is a new breed of Russian activist, more likely to reach for an iPad than a bullhorn. When it comes to the rally today, internet has played an extremely vital role in making it happen because nothing was broadcast on television. Everything is disseminated through Twitter, Facebook, and through our VK site. After recent parliamentary elections, YouTube was flooded with videos alleging vote rigging by the country's ruling United Russia party. Russia's state-run media, on the other hand, was conspicuously silent. Protesters like 22-year-old student and first-time election observer Denis Kondratienko are keenly aware of the information divide between television and the Internet. I know the real amount of votes United Russia received during the elections. It received very few votes. And because of that, the people rose up and came out today. They want fair and honest elections, not what they show us on TV. According to a report by Russian search giant Yandex, Russia has over one million Twitter users, a five-fold increase over last year. <laughs> and nearly 40,000 people signed up to attend Saturday's rally on Facebook, despite efforts by state-run television to brand such gatherings as dangerous and the protesters themselves as violent rabble-rousers. It's not hard to find information online about how to provoke the police and make Molotov cocktails. Masha Lipman, an analyst at Carnegie Center Moscow, admits the Internet is an important tool, but says it was election fraud, not microblogging, that galvanized people. As soon as uh, uh, the mood was uh, that of action, not just uh, uh, sitting there and grumbling, the Internet came, in, uh, came very handy uh, and indeed played a huge role in organizing, in informing, in actually planning and organizing the rally that brought together an unprecedented number of people. Tens of thousands of protesters gathered in Moscow on Saturday, the largest number to rally since the fall of the Soviet Union nearly two decades ago. Organizers were keenly aware they couldn't have done it without the Internet. I want to say a big hello to Twitter and Facebook. Hurrah, Internet! Today, they can't control us, thanks to social networking sites and us. Still. Carnegie's Masha Lippmann says there were revolutions before the age of internet and even uh, before uh, radio and television. We had a powerful showing of public sentiments and public activism back 20 years ago, late 80s. Uh, we had actually our rallies were 10 times bigger than uh, what we had in Russia on Saturday. <laughs> Jafet Weeks, VOA News, Moscow, Russia.